Vegas, Corona Lockdown, Lil Jay Gambino, take four. How you guys doing out there? I'm Jay Gambino, and this is Gambino Wine. Right now, a lot of you are stressing out, right? I'm ready to de-stress. I'm ready to go home, pop this cork. It's just too bad that I can't invite you out for a little wine tasting. I was supposed to have a family gathering tomorrow, a little wine tasting, cheesy crackers, but no, the Corona Lockdown put an end to that. So now all we can do is this, communicate with technology. Well, this is Gambino Wine, and I'm here to tell you, it's the end of the world as you know it. It's the end of the world as you know it. It's the end of the world as you know it. Now drink wine. Hey, a good bottle of wine will make you feel better, make you forget about it. Speaking of, this is day four. Who right now feels like I do? Yeah, I'm talking to you out there. Do you feel as stressed as I do? I'm not stressed about the virus. That's not my problem. It's the children inside the house. It's the kids under 18 that think they're grown. Now, like many of you, I got a junior high school kid that would rather be at school than home. Oh, God, I would rather you be at school than home, okay? They're eating all the food. They're bored. They got nothing to do. They're eating all the food like Pac-Man. Woo, 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 woo. I've got my stash closet. They're sneaking over there. They're trying to see what I got in there. And the minute I go out and gather and bring something back, they're right there. They're right there. I had to tell them, hey, my stash closet is my stash closet. Stay out of it. But the minute I deny them the privilege of taking what they want to eat, they become Pez dispensers. You remember those candies where the head pops off? I'm like, stay out of the closet. It's like, why? 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 Because I'm going to reach out and touch you in the worst way if you keep that up, OK? Now, I'm not getting any sleep, which is not good. Most of us aren't getting sleep because the coronavirus is keeping us up at night. The lockdown's keeping us up at night. But no, I am now noticing that some people snore. Now, they're snoring, and there's demons snoring. I'm telling you, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I thought Satan was in my house. I look over, and I love my son dearly, but he's snoring like a demon. He's like, Rrr! and it wouldn't stop. It went on, and he got louder and louder and more aggressive. So finally I say, Adam, try to breathe out of your nose, son, not your mouth. He says, okay. I get about 10 minutes apiece. I fall asleep. All of a sudden, he's snoring again. Now I think it's a lion. I thought, my God, son, are you just a beast inside because you're hungry? What's going on? Like a hungry lion. He's like, Rrr. I had to pop the lights on. It was getting too scary. It was like out of a scary movie. I don't know if any of you's going through that, but I'm going through that. Then here's another issue. Constipation, okay? Nobody likes to talk about it, but it happens. Some of us stress out and use the toilet a lot, which means you're gonna go through a lot of toilet paper. Some of us stress out and we can't even do what we gotta do. We sit on that toilet and nothing comes out. I call that Macy Strain. Here's my parody of Macy Gray, now called Macy Strain. I'm so constipated, I cannot take a crap, I'm in pain and I hate it, I try to take a poop but I don't, even though my stomach does rumble, though I try to push it, it's clear, my bowel movement has just disappeared, now that's a parody from <laughs> Macy Strain, so what I try to do is put a little light, little humor on things, how many of you right now are locked down with a person over 70 has got Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Can you imagine that? Today they remember, tomorrow they don't. Now this is a real chore. Today they remember we're on lockdown, tomorrow they don't. Today they remember who you are, tomorrow they don't. That's a challenge. But have you ever thought about this? I was in a senior folks home one time doing a free community showcase, and I met this guy named Bob. And Bob talked like this. My name's Bob. B-O-B, Bob. Doesn't matter how you spell it, forward, backwards, it's just Bob. It's one O. Don't add two O's, because then you got boob. I'm not a boob. My name's Bob. I like boobs. Take your top off. Crazy freaking old senior citizen. But he let me in on something. One day he says to me, Little Jay, come here. I got something to tell you. I went over, he says, I'm rich, you know. I said, yeah. But my family put me in this home, see? I said, yeah. And guess what? They said I got Alzheimer's. I don't have Alzheimer's. I'm faking that shit. 
That's right. <laughs> I'm going to tell them I don't remember you. You get nothing. <laughs> I'm saving my money for the pussycat dolls. That's what I put in my will. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> yes, I do. All uh, right. They think I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. And let me tell you something. Plum pudding is terrible. Nobody wants to eat plum pudding. Stop bringing us all this crap in the old folks' home. Why would I want something that looks like a testicle floating around and some funny stuff? No, <laughs> no more plum pudding. And uh, they came in, they wanted me to do exercises. They said, hey, Bob, let's see your range of motion. Take your finger and twirl it like that. I said, okay. But if you really want to see my range of motion, take your top off! <laughs> Anyways, that was old man Bob. I did that just for you, Mama C. Props to you, Mama C. That's a good friend of mine, and uh, I love you. Anyways, I'm trying to be funny. I got a lot on my mind, so I'm going to cut it short today. But remember, guys, take care of each other. Don't beat each other's ass while you're on lockdown. It's going to be hard to do, I know. I'm going to leave you one little thing. Here's a little Italian lesson for you. You want to know a few words? When you want to tell your kids to eat, manja manja is what you repeat. When you want to say thanks to me, all you say is grazie. When you want to say hey, goodbye, ciao is what you reply. Some Italians say, hey yo, hey yo, forget about it. That's right, forget about it. Talk like an Italian. Peace. <laughs>